What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus package update, daily news, pretty much everything going on here in Washington, D.C. and in our country. Remember, the new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll keep you up to date here with everything as well as money investing the stock market. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. The U.S. grows closer and closer to a default, a debt ceiling crisis. Uh, if Congress cannot come to an agreement to raise the debt ceiling, which means the Treasury Department, the U.S. government, will literally run out of money. We also have the U.S. government will have a government shutdown on December 3rd, and we have a government default, which are two different things, two different dates that can happen somewhere between December 3rd and December 15th at the earliest date. You can see here this headline, U.S. may default before Christmas if the debt ceiling isn't raised, according to a new analysis. So Congress is going to be very busy here when they come back from uh, Thanksgiving. Multiple different things here. Not only do they have the stimulus package in the Senate that they're going to have to work on, but they have a government shutdown, which is going to happen on December 3rd, which is literally only a few days away. The Republicans and the Democrats have to come to an agreement on that, uh, to prevent a government shutdown. I mean, I guess the Democrats could put that and stuff that into a stimulus package agreement, which is unlikely, uh, and pass it in the stimulus package in the Senate and uh, just kind of stuff that in there and do it on their own. But uh, I think that's unlikely, okay? Um, right now, they the most likely scenario is for a government shutdown to prevent the government from shutting down would be to come to an agreement with Republicans and Democrats. So they're going to have to do that literally in a matter of a very few short days, okay? Uh, there's over 2 million government uh, jobs, civilian jobs, people that non-elected non officials that work at the government that um, their jobs depend on this, and also all non-essential government branches will shut down if they don't come to an agreement on this. We had a government shutdown back in 2018 and 2019, and we've also seen some government shutdowns that went on for months in the past when Republicans and Democrats couldn't agree. We have a growing number of Republicans in the Senate that are saying they don't want to come to an agreement on a government shutdown unless they include border wall funding and to continue funding and um, building the border wall on the southern border here because of the crisis and the immigration problem here in the United States. Um, and we have a growing number of Republicans in the Senate saying that that needs to start and continue, and there needs to be billions of dollars more uh, for that, of which, of course, President Biden is against. Um, not necessarily because Biden... Um, really wants to, per se, stop the immigration problem. I think that Biden does kind of want to do that. But I think the bigger issue is that uh, that's kind of Trump's uh, signature project. The Trump border wall really kind of has his name on it. So and um, remember, the next election, the most likely scenario is going to be Biden versus Trump. Again, uh, remember that just in the last few days, uh, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki uh, confirmed that President Biden is going to run again. Now, uh, former President Trump hasn't officially confirmed he's going to run again, um, but he's hinted at it pretty heavily. So uh, the most likely scenario at this point uh, is probably former President Trump versus current President Biden in a head-to-head -head rematch. So it's unlikely that Biden wants to give in and give funding and restart the border wall just as a statement, just because he doesn't want to give a political win to Trump uh, or even Republicans as a matter. Even if he believed that the border wall might help, I think it's unlikely that he would fund that. 
anything's possible, but you can let me know your thoughts in the comments. Whether or not that would prevent a agreement between the Republicans and Democrats, remember they only need 10 Republicans in the Senate to do a government shutdown bill and a debt limit ceiling. Okay, remember that on the debt limit, that's a much, much more important and bigger issue. Not that a government um, shutdown is a big issue. It's a big issue for sure. But a government default is literally catastrophically worse. Okay, we're talking about the government defaulting. It's similar to the government going bankrupt, the United States of America. Um, they say that Social Security payments would be delayed might not go out, child tax credit payments, same thing. The government would literally run out of money, the Treasury Department. And uh, that could happen here in mid-December, okay? Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says that could be somewhere around December 15th. It was originally estimated it could happen as early as December 3rd. And um, the Treasury can't print any new money until they pass a bill called the debt limit or raise the debt limit or the debt ceiling. Um, so they have to kind of do this, and um, they could do it through the stimulus package as well, but the bill that was passed in the House by the Democrats only did not include raising the debt limit in there. Now, they could still do this in the bill in the Senate, but the Democrats have not mentioned a word whether they're actually going to do that or not. So right now, it looks like Democrats and Republicans have to come to an agreement to do this, of which Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer from the Democrats are speaking on this matter. But whether or not 10 Republicans are going to come along for the ride on that is a different story, because last time around, two months ago or a month and a half ago, they got 11 Republicans to do that, just barely past the 10 they needed but Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer from the Democrats blasted them right after they voted, and then the, the 11 Republicans said that they're not going to do it again. I thought that was a mistake when he did that, and it might end up hurting us all this time around because now they vow to not do it, not vote for it again. So yeah, so now we're kind of scrambling again to get the debt limit raised, to get the government shutdown raised, and kind of there's this negotiation going on as well. And the stimulus package is now here in the Senate, and a lot of people are kind of um, disagreeing whether how much is going to get changed from this stimulus package in the Senate. Some people are saying a lot's going to get changed. Some people are going to say a little bit's going to get changed. Uh, here's kind of some inflection on that. We are going to see a plan uh, come out of the Senate and then be sent back over uh, to the House uh, and on to the president. And the reason I have that confidence is that, um, you know, roughly 90 percent or so of the bill was pre-negotiated with the Senate. And I think those things that are on the on the edge and still need to be worked out. Uh, can and there may be some things that um, that fall off. Um, I happen to believe in family and medical leave. I think it's important for Americans, but I recognize that that might be a sticking point. Um, but overall, I I think that there's been a lot of uh, pre negotiation and that that signals that we're going to have a bill that's going to come out of the Senate and back over to the House. Lonnie, if that's the case, what do you think it really looks like? If you were a betting person. Not, not, well, not what you want, what you think it will be. Yeah. Well, I, I do think we're going to see some pairing back. I think the recent estimates from the Congressional Budget Office, which show that this bill increases the deficit by almost $800 billion over 10 years, I think that's going to be a very difficult pill to swallow for the likes of Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. So I do think there will be some changes. I think you're going to see some pairing back of some of the elements of this, maybe an enhancement of some of the revenue side. Uh, because politically, it's very, very difficult for these moderate Democrats to vote for a bill that increases the deficit. It is not paid for, contrary to the claims that are made by many House Democrats, made by the Biden administration. It's not. Uh, and, and so they're going to have to figure out what they do with this, because the politics of this going into an election year are very, very tricky. With inflation continuing to be an issue, are we really going to be pumping uh, $1.7 trillion of new spending into an economy that I don't think, frankly, can right. afford it right now. 
Also, according to new surveys, uh, a record number of Americans say they won't be buying holiday gifts for the Christmas season this year. But, so it's, it's kind of a tale of two different things here. Predictions for the holiday retail seasons are, are rosy, with the National Retail Federation calling for record gains um, up from 8 to 10% a year ago. But this could be threatened and could be end up a lot worse for a couple different reasons. A record high amount of people, or 11.5% of Americans, aren't going to be buying any gifts this holiday season, according to a new survey by Deloitte. Yeah, so this could really threaten um, the holiday season this year as well, as well as new spiking COVID cases here I'll get to here in a second. This is also um, why Americans are continuing to call on President Biden for another stimulus check, as well as the new rising inflation, which is the highest spike in over 30 years. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of low and middle income Americans are really struggling here. And um, we have multiple different advocacy groups pushing to include a fourth stimulus check in there in addition to the child tax credit checks that are in there as well, um, as well as the other things in there that would help out lots of different Americans, um, lowering the cost of child care, lowering the cost of prescription drug pricing, adding in hearing and hearing aid benefits as well. Uh, we have Senator Bernie Sanders pushing for multiple different things as well as vision and dental uh, possibly in there for Medicare, uh, also pushing for an $800 stimulus debit card for Medicare as well. And um, we have multiple different groups pushing for a possible stimulus check for adults as well, which would help Americans through the holiday season. Remember, there's also going to be another stimulus package after this as well, as well as um, we have multiple Two different bills that were just proposed to raise Social Security benefits by senators here in the last few weeks that could be coming here in the near future, as well as student loan forgiveness. I've actually had several different comments here over the last few days of people that have had their student loans forgiveness, uh, student loans forgiven here um, just in the recent few days and weeks. Uh, one of these comments caught my eyes here um, from yesterday. I screenshotted it from Marvin Stewart. He says, man, Jimmy and my extended family, I forgot to update you on my student loans. $65,000 were all canceled via the third stimulus check program for the disabled. Thank you, Jimmy, for keeping us so informed. Yes, $65,000 of, of his student loans were canceled from the third stimulus check program for the disabled. I said, wow, congrats and God bless. So yeah, congratulations, Marvin Stewart. Uh, absolutely amazing. So yes, they do have student loan forgiveness programs right now for the disabled, as well as for people that were defrauded and um, by their colleges and their um, college closed on them, as well as for people that are in public servant programs. Um, I just did a video on that in the last day or so. I'll link you to that video at the end of this video so you can click on that um, and give you information about that. But yeah, congratulations uh, to Marvin. There's a lot of people that are getting this, and I'll give you information on that in at that video at the end of this video. Honestly, that's just one of the different type of programs that are going on right now. Student loan forgiveness, mortgage assistance, rental assistance, um, utility assistance. I have links down below in the description of that video. Mortgage assistance, rental assistance, utility assistance, state stimulus checks, county stimulus checks, um, county stimulus, state stimulus programs as well. I'm going to keep you up to date on all these different type of programs as well as the next stimulus package the next stimulus package after this, all these different type of programs. I'm going to keep you up to date on all these because honestly, I do daily research on a daily basis. I've probably put in thousands of hours of research for you guys. Um, and uh, literally, I'm just here with you guys every single day. So I'm going to keep you up to date on all these programs because there's going to be more um, 
not just in this next stimulus package. Everybody thinks it's just the big stimulus package, right? Um, there's going to be another big package after this, but there's all these other programs. There's student loan forgiveness, there's rent assistance, mortgage assistance, all these other programs, right? And uh, I have literally had thousands of people alone from this um from our extended family here that have gotten rental assistance just from that one program. And the um, internet assistance, the emergency broadband, it's getemergencybroadband.org. Yeah, the website is getemergencybroadband.org. Probably thousands of people have gotten that on the internet assistance as well. Um, but yeah, so there's really just a lot of things going on here. I'm gonna keep you up to date on all these different type of programs here. And honestly, if you didn't watch this show, you could probably ask 10 of your friends and none of them would know about these programs. Or they might say, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. But they honestly would probably have no idea. They probably have not applied for any of these. So uh, that's kind of just one of the things that uh, our extended family here knows. And honestly, apply for these things. Apply for these things. I get a lot of people say, Jimmy, should I, should I really apply for these things? Yes. Yes, you should. Yes, you should apply for these things. Uh, because I have links down below in the description of these videos for these um and the internet assistance is getemergencybroadband.org. That's the website. Um, apply for these things because I just, I literally have, had comments like yesterday. People said, Jimmy, I finally applied for the internet and I got it. I had some people tell me that yesterday. I, I decided to apply. I got approved the same day. I said, yeah, yeah, thank you. I've had literally people that have just, uh, they decided to do it and they apply. I've had, I've had people tell me almost every day about internet assistance, the, the um, rental assistance, all these different programs. I'm like, yeah, apply. Uh, now, honestly, not everybody gets approved. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Not everybody gets approved for all these different programs, right? But there's so many different programs. There's internet assistance, mortgage assistance, rental assistance, utility assistance. And, and there's new programs coming out all the time that I'm going to keep you up to date. There's these different state programs, state stimulus checks. There's more of these coming out on a daily basis. There's the big stimulus uh, packages. And then there's another one coming out after that. Honestly, there's all these different programs, and I'll keep you up to date on all of them, plus daily news and everything. It's just fun to hang out with us here on the channel. Uh, we have our little turkey uh, special guest appearances, but I'm going to keep you up to date on everything here. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind that, uh, honestly, I, f I really feel like there's uh, a lot of different things coming out on the pipeline here. The other thing is that with the White House really trying to combat inflation, I think that... Um, We'll have to see what they're doing. I mean, obviously, they're trying to lower the price of gas right now. And um, I'll have to see what will happen with that. Do you think they're going to be able to lower the price of gas? I think that that'll be interesting. But we'll have to see what other type of programs might come out of that. We have Florida right now, the governor of Florida, saying that they're going to um, possibly get rid of the state tax on that. Um, we might see more states do that. We might actually see some different uh, interesting programs come out um, to try to combat inflation. So we'll have to see what interesting programs type of come out of that as well. But honestly, I think that there's a lot of interesting type of programs uh, coming out right now. And uh, everybody thinks of the just they, everybody kind of just thinks of the one stimulus check. They always think of the stimulus check, the stimulus check, the stimulus check. Right. But there's all these other programs. Right. And if you really just um, don't concentrate on the one and really think about all these other programs, there's actually a, a lot. There's actually a lot. And I'm going to keep digging for you guys. I'm going to keep my eyes, ears, and uh, fingers open and keep searching for you guys. And, and we'll see what comes about um, in this next stimulus package. I mean, reducing the cost of prescriptions, um, child care, um, benefits for Medicare, and who knows what will be in this next stimulus package. And the next stimulus package after that, maybe raises for Social Security. And uh, who knows? I'll keep you up to date with everything going on here in our country, uh, your daily news source, and um, you know our family to your family here. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll keep you up to date. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. It's free to do so. Uh, it just makes it so the YouTube algorithm is more likely to show you the videos because if you're not subscribed, um, YouTube won't recommend you the videos as much. Um, so make sure you're subscribed. Also kind of helps us reach our goal of 400,000 subscribers. Um, after subscribing, click the bell icon that appears after you subscribe. There'll be a little bell icon that appears. You can click that to all notifications to get reminder notifications when we go live with new videos. 
You can click here to watch my newest video next. This top video is about the student loan forgiveness. I just did a video that has a student loan forgiveness in that. And this bottom video will be about, we'll do uh, utility assistance. Utility assistance there as well. In the description of this video will be more about rental assistance and homeowners assistance. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.